What's up, my beans? That's short for uh, human beings. Uh, hello, everyone. It's Put McGee here back from another Magic the Gathering video. And today we're playing a deck that I've been trying to make for so long. For so long, I've been working on this deck and it was really bad for a while. Like, I wasn't winning any games. And then I made a bunch of changes and now it's, I think it's kind of okay. Okay, so this is Simic Stompy. And I really like Stompy decks in general. I think they're fun, and I think it's actually a pretty decent archetype right now. Most people are playing it in mono green, but I wanted to kind of splash blue because I think there's a lot of value we can get out of blue. Um, and we are playing some... This is kind of an expensive deck. We are playing some, uh, some heavy hitting cards here. Things that were kind of on the table to get banned in the last uh, ban discussions, whenever Field of the... Field of the Dead got banned. Uh, we're playing three Nissas, three Oko Thief of Crowns, and four Hydroid Crisis. Those are uh, expensive cards, I understand. But for Arena, this deck is amazing. I mean, it's still pretty hard to build, honestly. Kind of uses a lot of Mythic Rares and stuff. But there are some budgety ways to build this. Some just kind of uh, things we can change about it to make it more budget uh, budget friendly. And we'll talk about those at the very end of the video if you stick around. And hopefully I remember to do that. Please remember to do that at the end of this video. Okay, so now let's talk about the um, our main win con here is we're going to get Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig onto the field, hopefully really early, and then we're going to uh, stack a bunch of counters on him until he's very large, uh, and then give him Trample with Zagana Utopian Speaker, and then win the game. Um, obviously, we have a lot more power than just Yorvo, but this is where our main bulk, the main bulk of our power is going to come from. Uh, we've got Growth Chamber Guardians here, obviously just good in this deck. Um, it gets itself back out of the deck um, whenever you adapt it or whenever a counter is put on it some other way like <laughs> the Great Hinge which is amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Great Hinge. This is a seven, no, a nine mana uh, artifact and it costs seven two, and two green but the spell costs X less to cast where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. So this is pretty easy to cast once we get a couple more counters on Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig and it pays for itself very very quickly so its ability is you tap it you add two green mana and you gain two life and then whenever a non-token creature and this is just a passive um whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control put a plus one plus one counter on it and draw a card first of all the card draw from this is incredible it helps us keep moving at the end of the game when we're drawing a bunch of creatures and we want to just pile up pile up our uh our our board pretty much full of creatures this allows us to keep going keep drawing creatures and especially with stuff that gets us value when we get plus one plus one counters on it for instance um growth chamber guardian value when you get a counter on it because you can go into your library and grab another growth chamber guardian out shark to crab something that doesn't see very much play uh but i really like it this is a four four for four and you can also adapt it, but whenever one or more plus on plus one counters are put on Shark to Crab, tap target creature and opponent controls, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. And I think this is one of the biggest things we have over um, over Mono Green Stompy, is that Shark to Crab, like let's say in a mirror matchup, Shark to Crab is just going to tap all of the opponent's creatures, or a lot of the opponent's creatures, and they're not going to untap the... Un the opponent's untap step so they're going to be tapped out for a while and that gives us more avenues to attack through our opponent's defenses and keeps us alive against aggro decks we want to stop their creatures from uh, just kind of murking us so shark and crab is wonderful with the great hinge and then we also have evolution sage which is going to proliferate because we have just everything in this is going to have counters of some sort on it like we want it to have counters of some sort on it so yeah Evolution Sage is good. I originally was running four, four Evolution Sage, I think, and that's just too much. You really don't need that much uh, Evolution Sage. A little bit goes a long way. Uh, if we never draw this, it's we're going to be fine if we never draw an Evolution Sage. We'd much rather draw Nizza Who Shakes the World or Great Hinge and stuff like that. Um, other value things we, we can kind of talk about are uh, we got a, quite a bit of ramp. Gilded Goose, uh, Incubation Druid, and two Paradise Druid. The reason I have so much is that we want to be casting pretty big Hydroid Crisises, Hydroid Crisi, um, relatively early on in the game, so we needed a decent amount of ramp for that. But the, the reason I, I am playing some of these is because we, we want to make sure we can cast Yorvo. This costs three green mana, which is not a, an easy casting cost whenever we're playing a lot of blue... Um, a lot of blue mana sources. In fact, though, I will. I need, do need to adjust this just a little bit. I'm going to dump, because last time I played it, I realized that I was having issues drawing islands. We don't really need islands. We can get most of our blue sources from our dual lands and our Paradise Druids and Gilded Goose. So I'm going to cut two of those and throw forests in there instead. Um, 
I really feel like that's all I need to talk about with this deck though. You probably have gotten kind of the picture of it. You can look at it now. The deck list will be in the description below. You can check that out on Aether Hub. And yeah, let's just let's just jump right into it, guys. I'm very excited about this deck. I really actually think this is one of the not one of the few decks. This is one of the decks I've built myself that I think is actually has some competitive potential uh, because it's 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 got a lot of value in it, up in here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, speaking of value. Uh, Oko Thief of Crowns uh, on turn 3 is pretty nice. Yeah, uh, we'll keep 7. We'll probably just play Barkhide Troll on turn 2. Knight of the Ebon Legion, so it looks like we're going up against aggro, so that's eh, not awesome, but it's okay. Gutta Bones. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we'll go Forest here instead of Castle Garenbrig. Doesn't make much difference in the scheme of things, but it's fine. I'm guessing they just attack us, and that's pretty... Yeah, I'm I'm going to not block because I know that they can buff the Knight of the Emblem Legion, and I'm okay with taking that damage right now. Having this get a counter is not the end of the world either. We do... Let's go, let's go Castle Garenbrig, and then Evolution Sage, and I think I will not attack for now. I want to hold up Barkhide Troll to block the Gutter Bones. Okay, so they're at four mana. Uh, we can do, we can do a decent amount on the next turn. We can play Barkhide Troll, proliferate it. Um, we're, again, I'm not going to block. I t we take a lot of damage here. I'm kind of counting on getting a... <laughs> Um, oh, whatchamacallit. Uh, okay, we'll go Barkhide Troll first before we try to proliferate. we go Forest. And then Incubation Druid. So we don't have any mana up, which is somewhat problematic. I'm going to attack with Barkhide Troll, one Barkhide Troll. I'm, I'm fairly okay with chumping something to the Knight of the Ebon Legion at this point. Uh, we need to get Oko on the field. Yeah, I'm actually going to chump this Barkhide to it. I'll, I'll let it buff itself up and then kill my Barkhide troll. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that trade. We really need to draw into Nissa or... Great hinge, and we get neither one, and that's fine. <laughs> I guess that's okay. Um, ooh, we need to go Oko first. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Nope. We want to create a food token. Surely you must be famished. Proliferate both of those bad boys. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass the turn for now. I'm guessing they're gonna attack Oko with uh, Knight of the Evan Legion. They could, since they're playing Lazatep Reaver, that makes me think they probably have some sacrifice stuff going on in here. Like, they may play Priest of Forgotten Gods, or they might have Spark Harvest or something like that. Let's see what they do on attack. Knight of the Ebon Legion to the face. I'm gonna actually chump Incubation Druid. That may seem a stupid, but uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty okay with that. Another Lazatep Reaver, so they're amassing. Okay, we go to my turn, hopefully... <sighs> not, not a great draw. We don't want two Shark to Crabs right now. Any of my Planeswalkers would have worked. A... Uh... Hmm. 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 Let's... Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, wait a second. Cancel. 
power three or less. Yeah, baby. We're gonna. Oh no 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 no. Okay, if I try to do that and they buff up their Knight of the Ebon Legion, they can. Dang, that stinks. They can buff it to where I can't actually target it. It becomes untargetable by that. That stinks. Okay, so I'm glad I caught that before I tried to do it or I would have been very upset. I'm just going to turn this into a creature. And I'm actually not going to play the island yet. I'm going to wait until next turn when I maybe have a chance to uh, adapt Shark to Crab. And we can tap down some of their creatures. Okay, so they're drawing cards. They're digging for stuff. They lost three life on that that draw, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's see what they do on attack. Attack all. Hmm. Okay. I'm a little bit worried they have... I mean, what are they going to have? They've probably got something that gives their creatures death touch. This is two, three, four, six damage. I'm a little bit worried about taking extra damage from just other miscellaneous spells that they might cast. I'm, oh man. What do I block with? I'm a little bit afraid to block with Barkhide Troll because I don't want to lose my biggest blocker. But I probably should. I'm going to block Zombie Army. And let the other four damage go to my face. And see what they do here. Okay. Maybe they were just counting on me freaking out about that. About them potentially having some kind of death touch combat trick. Not to the Evan Legion. Okay, well that gets a counter because... I took four damage that turn. I... Gilded Goose. Not great. Not great. Okay, well, we're going to adapt this. It gets a counter. We're going to tap you down. We're going to play Gilded Goose. The goose is loose, baby. And they concede. Wow, okay. Hmm. Well, they, so so <laughs> maybe what they realized is that every time I played a land, I was going to be able to tap down one of their creatures. Um, but honestly, I really needed to draw a uh, Great Hinge or Nissa there to actually do anything. I guess Hydroid Crisis would have worked, but I didn't really have enough ramp to make it go, make it be big. Eh, so yeah, that was not that was not a great showing of the deck. Not a great showing in that game. Let's let's hope we we get a little something better. Something a little better? A little something better this time. Okay, this hand is not bad by any means. In fact, it's pretty dang good. Because we go Guild of Goose turn one, on turn two we have Yorvo Lord of Garenbrig, which is a huge turn two play. Like, a ridiculous turn two play. Um, of course, we only have two lands, so we may get stuck a little bit. But Gilded Goose helps us a lot by producing a little bit of mana for us. It's slow. It's not like, you know, it's not like a Llanowar Elf or something. That's a 4-4 four, four on turn 2. I do love Yorvo, and he's about to get bigger, so if they don't play a solid blocker here, Yorvo's going to- or if they don't- maybe they'll kill Yorvo. They might have like a lava coil or something, which would make me- Ugh. Oh, no. And then they're gonna- then they're gonna spark harvest my Gilded Goose by sacrificing- No! No! <laughs> Sorry if that got really loud. That makes me so angry. That makes me so angry. I can't explain how angry that makes me. Very dumb. Very, very dumb. Okay, well, we're about to play two gilded geese. Geeses. No attacks, because we don't have anything with power. So, yeah. Um, not only did they kill our creature, they dealt four damage to us with it. 
Nice. And they got they got, made two food. Two food with it. Sick, dude. I'm very I'm very upset by that. Just just fuming. Hmm. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um I think I just play Growth Chamber Guardian. Simple, sweet. Play this tapped, and then I pass the turn. If we draw another land, we can play Hydroid Crisis for four next turn, and that's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, they could also just do that. They can claim the Firstborn and attack me. And then uh, Witch's Oven, my Growth Chamber Guardian. That's cool. No blocks. I mean, as angry as it does make me that they're able to steal all my creatures and kill them without having to really cast very many spells, they don't really have much in their hand, I, I don't think. Oko is nice. Oko is very nice. Yeah, we're gonna play Oko. We're gonna do that. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. I can't really create anything, so I'm not gonna make a creature. I'm just gonna make a food token, um, and that means I get a decently sized Hydro Crisis next turn, assuming I still have three Gilded Geese to uh, <laughs> to get mana from next turn. Ugh. Yeah, I've seen this deck that this person is playing. I've seen it. I've seen the deck list. It's kind of impressive what they're able to do with... Yeah, okay, cool. Sick. I love Angrath's Rampage. But it does feel like they don't really have anything, uh, like any creatures in their hand. So that's nice. That's nice. Ooh, Karn's Bastion. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and play that, and then we're going to cast Hydroid for... I guess we could cast it for five. Um, does claim is claim the firstborn able to? Yep, claim the firstborn will still be able to steal it if they have one in their hand. <sighs> I'm still gonna do this for five. Um, okay. Doesn't matter. You're all the same. Just sacrifice all of these. I hate that it makes me do this. And all of the foods are the same. My guess is that this Hydroid Crisis is gonna get killed somehow next turn. And if they steal it and sacrifice it, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually punch the camera and then the video's gonna be over. And if that's the case, I'm sorry. That's what happens. Okay. No claim the firstborn. No claim the firstborn. Fingers are crossed. Please, please, Nazreddin, Hoja, no, 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 okay. The devil is fine, that's fine. It's not good, but it, it's okay. I'm, I'm willing to uh, accept that. Oh, I forgot to mention in my deck tech, we're playing Karn's Bastion, that's, it's just, we're doing that. Um, Do I want to make a food? No, I think I just want to play Incubation Druid as solid, consistent ramp. We know what's going to happen with that. We can produce one mana with it. That's what, what can happen with it. Mm -hmm. Hello, Spawn of Mayhem. I do not like you. Cast this for... Wait, cancel. Let's, um... Nope, I, that does that made no sense in... It made sense in my mind, but I forgot you have to pay mana to do that, so we, we can't do that. We're going to cast this for four. Yeah, for four. Am I counting correctly? Yes. So we draw two cards, gain two life, and we have a blocker for Spawn of Mayhem. Ooh, hello, Yorvo. You know what I would love to see? You know what I would really like to see is uh, Great Hinge. That would be nice. That'd be pretty nice. It would. It really would. 
Midnight Reaper. Cool. You know? Huh. If Spawn of Mayhem attacks, I probably won't block it at this point. Well, okay. Jeez Louise. This is about to just get so degenerate. <sighs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm just gonna be off screen for a minute while this happens. And I cry. Okay, that didn't take as long as I expected. <laughs> I thought they were going to sacrifice it again. I'm not sure why they didn't, honestly. They should have. I guess it doesn't matter. They can do it later. Um... Uh, yeah, we'll play Gilded Goose. It makes your go bigger. Put in the first one's a sorcery, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and then we probably want to go ahead and play Barkhide Troll. Oh, wait, no. We want to play Go Chamber Guardian so we don't have to sack the food. <sighs> okay. Okay. What are we doing here? What are we gonna do? Why does it think- oh, oh, it's being dumb. Yeah, we'll pass. I'm- I'm frightened of what they're gonna do to me. Yeah, they're- they're gonna Witch's Oven and bring back the Cauldron Familiar. All that annoying crap that this deck does. Yes, resolve it, resolve it, resolve it. Where is my stuff that I need to kill the opponent? Uh, Zagana would work. Zagana would be great. Uh, give my Yorvo Trample. Um, great Hinge would be ideal because it gains us life and draws us cards, which is really what we need right now because we are A, out of cards, B, running low on life when they're about to just make this combo go off a million times. And I'm scared of what they have in their hand. Light up the stage. Okay, interesting. Mayhem Devil is uh, a big old bummer. That's a big, big bummer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Mayhem Devil? Okay. It's not whenever you sacrifice a creature. It's whenever you sacrifice a permanent so every time they sacrifice a food to bring back Cauldron Familiar, I take one damage from the food sacrifice. Every time they sacrifice a Cauldron Familiar to create a food, something is going to take a damage. I'm, I'm getting wounded by that. Okay. They're not just pumping out the combo as like I thought they would. You've got to... No. No. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Okay. We will Barkhide Troll. I'm gonna pass the turn because I need blockers and they're about to deal a bunch of damage to me. I'm drawing horribly, 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 horribly. And I'm not afraid to, I may need to actually sacrifice this food to gain three life, except that whenever I do, I'm gonna probably take one damage, so I'm really gaining two life. Okay, I'm gonna resolve that one damage, and before the next damage resolves, I'm going to tap that to, yeah, they're gonna do it again, right? They're gonna sack the Cauldron Familiar, bring it back a million times, and just try to murder all my stuff. Yeah, um, okay, well, I'm gonna tap you for, I guess I could adapt it, but it probably will die. Um, I'm gonna tap it for, it, needs, it doesn't matter what color it is, tap it for a green so that I can proliferate. And I resolve that. 
Resolve that. Resolve that. I'm afraid to proliferate because then they'll sacrifice what this. Then they can kill. Eh, it doesn't really matter, right? Oh uh, well, they can kill my hydro crisis, which would be a bummer. I need to keep this. Obviously, if I'm gonna proliferate, I gotta have this mana. Um, but I need them to show me in to target one of these first. See what they're going after. Me. Okay, my face. And then go one, two, three. So I can do three more. So then I. Okay, now I can proliferate. Ugh. I'm very frustrated. I'm very frustrated. Resolve it all. Resolve it all, baby. What are you even targeting? I can't even tell. I can't tell. It's hiding behind the stack. Stop doing this. I want to be able to see my board. <laughs> Arena. Yeah, all of that. Then I take one damage and another damage from called familiar, so I can go to nine. Do I just die? I'm probably just gonna die on this turn because they go spawn of mayhem. Then they're gonna sacrifice called for familiar a million times, and I think I'm dead. I'm I'm pretty certain they're gonna have a claim the firstborn and steal my Lord of Garenbrig or my Hydroid Crisis and then just kill me, so that's cool. It's really great. But the good news is I do have four gilded geese on the field right now. So don't worry, don't you worry about, about my geese number. I've got a high number of geese. Mini mini geese. Goosers. <laughs> yep. Okay. We'll sack. We'll sack. No. Stop. Resolve. Ugh. Sack a goose. I'm a, I'm a dead man. I am dead. Yeah, that's all they needed to do, right? Pretty sure. Yep. That's it. Okay. Fine. I'm just going to click resolve all. If you would do all your triggers at one time so that I could just say resolve all and get this over with because you win, we just got to get through this. We got to get it done. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Resolve that. Sack you. That's cool. Sh uh, interesting. Didn't know you played that in this deck. Uh huh. Uh huh. Deedy 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 doo. <sighs> Can you please stack all your triggers? Don't make them. Don't make me resolve them all before. Come on, main. <laughs> oh, yeah baby yeah now you say good game cool you just figured it out you beat me nice dude i knew you beat me like a million minutes ago sorry uh if you're watching this i'm very salty right now not really because i lost well partly because i lost because i drew horribly but uh, mainly because uh, that took forever, and I knew that I was going to lose for like the last 10 minutes of that game. It's great. It's great stuff. Maybe this time the deck will actually play as it is intended. That would be that would be really something. That would really be something. That would be cool. Let's see what we got. What is our hand looking like? Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep. It's bad. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. It's kind of it's kind of bad. It's slower than I would like. A slower start than I would like, just because we have to start with Temple of Mystery in order to play either Gilded Goose or Incubation Druid, and we're gonna have to play Incubation Druid on turn two in order to play Barkhide Troll because we don't have enough green source in our starting hand, uh, unless we draw into a land, which is likely and ho hope hopefully that happens. Yes, that would be nice. Maybe we'll even draw some of our, our planeswalkers this time and they won't get murdered immediately. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. 
I'm thinking though, so last turn, whenever I proliferated, um, last game, I mean, whenever I proliferated, I probably shouldn't have done that. I could have just gained, I could have sacked the, I'm thinking I could have potentially sacked the, um, the food to gain three life, but it really would have been two life because by sacking a, a permanent, I was dealing a damage to myself, so that was cool. Really nice. Uh, incubation Druid. I don't think we need Incubation Druid. We need a land. We need a land. We've already got one of them. And I got to play it on this turn, too, so that's fun. But that will give me a turn three Oko, so that's nice. Or, or turn, yeah, turn three Oko, even if we don't draw a land. Oh, um, is this about to be Golos Field, even though Field of the Dead just got banned? That would be freaking awesome if it was. That would be the best. Really, really cool stuff. Really good. I like that. I really like that. Yeah. S screw you. Dang it. Okay, it doesn't look like Golos Field. It looks like uh, Team of Reclamation, maybe. Um, okay. So we'll go. We'll shock that in. Play Oko now. Um, if they have a negate, I'm going to freaking quench, dude. Yeah, okay. Playing quench is good against Oko. It's probably what people should be playing right now to stop um, Oko and Teferi. And there's the Wilderness Reclamation, and we probably just lost the game. So that's good. That's really freaking good. Oh, man. Every, I feel like every time I try to play this deck, it goes badly. Even though it's a good deck. It's actually good. Believe, just believe me. <laughs> oh, it's the most frustrating things are happening to me. Woe is me, uh, pity me viewer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Not only are they way ahead of me in land count, um, they actually have something on the board that is helpful. Yep. Yep. Hmm. 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 I think I'm about to lose. Like, like right now, I'm pretty sure I'm about to lose. Okay, go back Kaito, and it does nothing for us right now. We can't play Yorvo because they killed our stinking Gilded Goose. Disappointed! Maybe they're just gonna run out of stuff, and we can actually do something. May just maybe that will happen but it looks like not it looks like they win the game cool cool i concede i concede we're moving on we're moving on because yeah okay i'm getting kind of sweaty too maybe it's because i'm because of the anger it might be because of the anger probably yeah oh well all right, Akron. Can you not have the most mean deck ever? Can you just face me like a man? Okay, we're keeping this. Um, not ideal because we're gonna have to shock in breeding pool against freaking cavalcade. Why are, is my every game my start is like the opposite of what I need it to be? So, mm, okay, okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to not shock that in, because I don't want to take two damage just to put down a blocker for a 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is really good. This is really, really cool. Nope. Don't need it. The goose is on the loose. The goose is loose. 
Yes. Okay. Okay. They're hitting land drops. They've got stuff. They're about to probably have cavalcade slaying fire. Nice. Yes. Okay, that's actually not the end of the world. I mean, it's not. It's obviously bad. But the worst things have happened. We'll go uh, breeding pool. Deal the goose. Um, so let's say they don't kill our Gilded Goose. Next turn we get Anissa who shakes the world, which is very good. Um, shot- nope! Okay. Why would I ever think that anything I play is not gonna immediately die? Why would I think that? Because I'm an idiot! Okay, we'll play Forest. Archive Troll. This allows us to have a blocker and be able to sacrifice a food to gain some life. So that's something. That's something. We have a thing on the board. So if they attack us with a Legion War Boss, then we will block it with the Barkhide Troll. But the bad news is they probably have another Slaying Fire in their hand, which will force me to spend a mana to uh, make it hexproof, and then I will be triggered. Okay, Legion War Boss. Torch Carrier probably sacrifices itself to give it haste. I want to die. I want to die. Like, I'm in real life, I want to die. Okay, we're alive. We're still alive. Um, if they have a Cavalcade of Calamity in their hand, we are dead. We're dead. We're dead. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Okay, the good news is, here's, here's what we can do. We can attack with our forest. And we get to still have it as a blocker. And on their turn, during the blocking phase, we can tap it to sacrifice this food to gain us three life. So, we are probably still dead. If they have a Cavalcade of Calamities, we are... We die. Pretty sure. I'm not... I haven't done the math on that yet, but I'm pretty confident that's gonna happen. Or they just do this. Or they do that. And that's cool, too. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, why did you not wait until that goblin had come out of the war bosses but you know that's what happens right these the legion war bosses just poop out little tiny goblins with knives and armor and stuff okay so we'll pass to blockers um i think i need to do that okay that's six seven ten damage i will go to one Am I right about that? Six, seven, ten damage. I'll go to one. I don't know why you didn't attack with the Legion War Boss. There's literally nothing. Like, you would have won if you had done that. Why did you not do that? Fine. Watch me win next turn. That would be cool. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Sick. Sick, dude. That's awesome. That's what we needed. Okay, we'll go uh, Evolution Sage. Untap that forest. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Wait a second. Oh, 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 we do this okay so that would be two four six eight nine mana so this that doesn't help us so we'll go temple of mystery now scry what we want to draw to the top that's what we want let's say we were uh 
gonna stay alive just a little while yeah submit all of those um, we'll go to combat Okay. Again, if they have a cavalcade of calamity, we I'm pretty sure we die. We don't have enough blockers, and they've got castle and breath, so we're dead. I mean, we're dead, right? Um, but just for fun, we can do this. Wait, cancel. No, we want to do. Well, that would be. <laughs> we could gain. Wait, do we have enough blockers? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six attackers plus another one. Um, and then they use Castle and Breath to make them all 2-1, so we have to have blockers for every single one of them. Which is, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. I mean, we're dead. I'm just going to play this out, and then we, we lose. So that's cool. <sighs> Bummer. Bummer. Well, okay, basically all this video was was me thinking I made a good deck and then raging about it uh, not being good because I lose every game! The one game we actually won was a concede where our opponent probably could have won the game. That was awesome. So maybe what I'm trying to say is don't play this deck. I don't know, it seems good to me. Uh, let me know why it's bad. Let me know why it's so bad and I just can't win games. Probably something to do with, um, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I have no idea. I thought I made it good. So, um, I'm pretty triggered by this. Uh, but I, I want this deck to be fun and good. I don't know. I'm, I'm done now. I'm done ranting. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope I wasn't too, uh, too much of a negative Nancy for you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully the next one will be a better deck and I won't get so triggered. Or maybe the next one will be a better version of this deck. And then I'll be happy because I'll be winning games. I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out when uh, the next one comes around. Okay, see you guys. Peace.